Kiva huomenta lämmäiske herrat. Kello on 8.30 paikallista aikaa ja saamme Tukholmaan noin tunnin kuluttua. Before traveling through beautiful Sweden, we went by a ship to its capital, Stockholm. From Stockholm, we traveled to the amazing countryside of Denmark, to meet our family friends. The weather favored us and it was sunny and warm, all two days we were there. Next destination was in Bavaria, Coburg, the home of Prince Albert, the husband of Queen Victoria. In wonderful Coburg, we visited the medieval castle of Fester Coburg, which had epic views to the city. In the evening, we went to see the Carmen Opera and then headed to Austria's historic capital, Vienna. We went to eat in Café Central, where for example Hitler, Stalin, Trotsky and Tito often ate about a hundred years ago. Then it was time to go to the Balkans, more precisely to Belgrade. In Zagreb, we changed to a horrible train, where we had to sleep the night. We hardly slept at all, and there were disturbing things, at every moment. Nikap, Asper Chicken. When we arrived in Belgrade, we were very tired and hungry, so we went to restaurant to have some breakfast. Later, we visited the beautiful church of Saint Mark. Then we started looking for the top cedar train station from where we were supposed to continue our journey to Thessaloniki. The weather was very hot, but we finally got there. We were very tired, so we fell asleep almost immediately when we got to bed. However, nothing is perfect, and neither was this night. We had to wake up at 3 a.m. because the train couldn't continue due to the immigration problems. We had to get on the bus and head towards Skopje, and from there, we took a train and in morning, arrived to Thessaloniki.
In Thessaloniki, we explored the city, and drank the Greek blue Fanta. And yes, that hotel was this ugly. In the next morning, we went to Lefkada, where we stayed for the next six days. When our bus arrived to wonderful Lefkada, our British host came to pick us up, and took us by car to the villa, in a Polpina village. It had gorgeous views to the sea and mountains. In the first day in Lefkada, we stayed at the villa so we could rest. On the second day, we of course swam at the beach and enjoyed the sea, before we explored the island. The next day we went to see a nearby Phanaromani monastery. It was very beautiful, like all monasteries. There were a lot of cats there. No trip in Greece is complete without good food, so we ate at a restaurant almost every day. After some days, we wanted to see the Nidri waterfalls, which we visited six years ago. It was a very nice place. But the water was very cold. Someone rode a moped towards our rental car while our father was driving, but luckily there was no big injuries, and we were able to continue our journey with a new car. On Sunday, we attended Divine Liturgy in the church, that we had visited already six years ago. The priest who we had also met before, invited us to his son-in-law's name day party. In the final day, we swam once more in the warm and turquoise Mediterranean before going back to Finland. The trip was amazing, and we hope that you enjoyed this series. Thank you for watching these.